Nothing in the technical procedures of dental practice is more important than the care of the cutting edges of instruments, and no one has ever yet become a good and efficient dentist until after he had learned to keep his cutting instruments sharp. These statements in 1886, over 100 years ago, by the renowned dentist G.V. Black in his text, The American System of Dentistry, are as true today as they were then. Hello, I'm Dr. Larry Blyer, and I am the inventor of the Honing Channel Sharpening Systems. I am a board-certified periodontist practicing in full-time clinical practice since 1978. Clinicians need sharp, uniform curettes to achieve optimal scaling and root planing effectiveness, tactile sensitivity, and the ability to engage the tooth surface and scale and root plane without excessive pressure. A sharp, highly refined cutting edge on a curette and scaler will help to ensure that the root surface after scaling and root planing will be as smooth as possible to the highest possible standards for controlled surface finishing. This sharp, highly refined, smooth bio-edge created on a curette and scaler will be replicated on the root surface, creating a very smooth surface finish and minimize the repopulation of microorganisms on the tooth surface to help arrest and prevent new periodontal disease and dental root caries. Maintaining the sharp and smooth cutting edge on a curette no longer has to be an unpleasant, tedious, and difficult chore for anyone in the dental office. For the past several years, cutting edge technology has been researching solutions to these problems and has developed the honing channel sharpening systems. Our concept of sharpening channels for dentistry selectively reshape and resharpen the cutting edges of curettes and sickle scalers. This video is divided into four segments. In the first segment, we will discuss the features of the honing channel sharpening system. In the second segment, we will demonstrate the proper use of the complete honing channel sharpening system, which includes both the BioEdge white and chocolate honing channel sharpening stones and the accessory white and chocolate clearance sharpening stones. In the third segment, we will further demonstrate and focus on the proper use of the new honing channel accessory clearance stone for our dental honing channel sharpening system. And in the fourth segment, we will teach you how to clean and maintain the honing channel sharpening system. The BioEdge white honing channel sharpening stones manufactured by Cutting Edge Technology are high strength custom designed aluminum oxide instrument sharpening stones of the highest grit and the greatest particle density. The aluminum oxide particles are heat processed from raw mineral bauxite and mixed with a special ceramic bonding agent and fired in sophisticated ovens for as long as three days at temperatures in excess of 3000 degrees Fahrenheit. The result is the creation of a sharpening stone which is made of the second hardest naturally occurring substance and a particle size of one to five microns. This particle size is two to three times finer than the Arkansas stone and over 30 to 50 times finer than an India stone. Therefore, curettes and scalers sharpened with the honing channel sharpening stone will produce smoother root surfaces than those sharpened with rough or coarse grit stones, minimizing the microbial repopulation on root surfaces that are proven helpful in controlling periodontal diseases. The BioEdge Cutting Edge Technology Honing Channel Sharpening Stone comes with a grit size over 2,000 and will consistently keep instruments true to the original geometric design. It will prolong the life of instruments by minimizing wear and abrasion. It requires no oil lubrication and there is no risk of handling slippery instruments. It is non-loading and metal particles do not lodge on the surface. The honing channel sharpening stone is engineered to provide a consistent extra fine grit particle size and eliminates wire edges. 
It provides the smoothest and sharpest cutting edges on any metal alloy. It permits all office staff to learn to sharpen the curette and scaler with less than one hour of training. The Honing Channel Sharpening System is designed to sharpen uniformly across the entire length of the cutting edge from heel to toe. It restores the smooth, rounded, curvy linear design of the lateral surface of the curette. It sharpens and reshapes worn and damaged curettes and even brand new instruments can have a sharper, finer, functional cutting edge that is replicated in smoothness on the root surfaces of teeth for the intended biologic process of root planing. In its simplest form, sharpening is a reshaping process. The sharpening process is performed by reshaping those altered instrument contours to the original geometric designs as illustrated in the following diagram. The wear facet usually develops below the cutting edge on the lateral surface, which requires removal when sharpening in order to restore the cutting edge. Begin the sharpening process by lubricating the channels with sterile gauze soaked in water. Flat surfaces of stones can be used wet or dry. Hold the stone firmly on a hard surface such as a countertop. Unlike with flat sharpening stones, there is no need to lift up the stone and or even the curette or scaler to sharpen and risk injury to yourself. In addition, with the honing channel sharpening system, there is less chance of personal injury as the cutting edge is sharpened in the channel below the surface of the stone. For those few instruments that do not fit the narrow channel, use the wider channel. The wider channel was designed to accommodate all sickle scalers and wider universal curettes. Seat the working end of the instrument at the far end of the channel with the toe pointing away from you. The side of the curette blade must rest parallel to the channel walls. Slightly tip the instrument so that the entire length of the cutting edge is in contact with the channel wall similar to when one activates the cutting edge against the root of a tooth. This step is important to ensure that one is tipping the entire cutting edge of the curette against the channel wall at least to the angle of activation or greater as illustrated in the following diagram. The instrument can be tipped further and still make proper contact with the channel wall. Some degree of tipping is necessary before you draw the instrument and its entire cutting edge through the channel. Draw the instrument and its entire cutting edge in the direction of the instrument's heel, maintaining firm, steady contact pressure with the adjacent channel wall. Each of the two cutting edges found on each end of a universal curette and sickle scaler need to be sharpened separately. As now demonstrated, being sure to always tip the entire cutting edge against either curvilinear wall of the wider or narrower channels. Now check the instrument for sharpness using the acrylic test stick provided and holding the acrylic test stick vertically. When properly reshaped and resharpened, the cutting edge will bite into the acrylic with minimal pressure. If after the first seven to eight strokes through the channel, the cutting edge did not bite into the acrylic test egg with minimal pressure, then continue for an additional seven or eight strokes through the channel. The less abrasive BioEdge Whitestone will preserve metal and dental instrument life. However, if the cutting edge still does not bite into the test stick at the normal angle of activation, one can use the more abrasive BioEdge Chocolate Honing Channel Sharpening Stone, which was designed to accelerate the sharpening process and is especially effective in quickly sharpening improperly manufactured or damaged instruments. It also restores the smooth, rounded, curvy linear design of the lateral surface of the curette and sickle scaler. 
The more abrasive BioEdge chocolate honing channel sharpening stone has an average abrasive particle size of 10 to 15 microns, similar to an Arkansas stone, and will quickly sharpen any curette or sickle scaler in one to three strokes, even worn and damaged instruments. For the chocolate honing channel sharpening stone, follow the same directions as for the BioEdge white honing channel sharpening stone, with the following additions. With the chocolate honing channel sharpening stone, it usually only takes two to three strokes in the channel, drawing the instrument and its entire cutting edge in the direction of the instrument's heel through the honing channel, maintaining firm, steady contact while hugging the channel wall. Following sharpening with the chocolate honing channel sharpening stone, we recommend always finishing with the finer white honing channel sharpening stone to provide the smoothest and sharpest cutting edges. The channels of the white and chocolate honing channel sharpening stones are curvy linear and geometrically the same and are designed to follow, where possible, the written suggestions of the International Standards Committee on Dental Curette and Scalar Instrument Designs. If the cutting edge still does not bite into the acrylic test stick or cannot be used at the proper angle of activation during the clinical use of the instrument, then the problem is now one of a significant degree of inadequate clearance on the lateral side of the cutting blade below the cutting edge as shown. Clearance is the space developed between the tooth and the side of the blade immediately behind the cutting edge when it is in function. The two surfaces involved form an angle measured in degrees known as the clearance angle. Although the instrument's cutting edge is sharp, it will not bite at the normal angle of activation of 80 degrees or 90 degrees unless one tips the cutting edge against the tooth to an angle of activation of 50 degrees to 70 degrees. This further tipping will enable the clinician to once again engage the cutting edge and overcome any interference from large metal projections developing on the lateral side of the cutting edge from normal instrument use with progressive wear. However, restoring proper clearance is found or needed with new instruments or properly resharpened instruments, as now illustrated, will permit the clinician to engage the cutting edge against the tooth at the standard angle of activation of 80 degrees without any interference from large metal projections and wear facets that develop on the lateral side of the cutting blade from normal scaling and root planning procedures. Therefore, one needs to routinely check the cutting edge against a test stick or during the clinical use against a tooth while scaling and root planing at 90 degrees, 80 degrees, 70 degrees, and 60 degrees to see if the cutting edge bites from heel to toe. This checking for adequacy of clearance should be done during the life of the instrument to accommodate the wide range of positional variations on the two surfaces during therapeutic mechanical instrumentation. Proper clearance is essential if the cutting edge is to make contact against the tooth with enough pressure and precision. With insufficient clearance, force used in pressing the blade against the tooth is dissipated over the entire area of contact instead of being concentrated at the cutting edge where it belongs. Thus, scalar and curette edges lacking adequate clearance must be pressed against the tooth with proportionately greater force and leads to hand, wrist, and finger fatigue. Clearance specifications vary continually during scaling and root planning according to alterations that accompany each change in position of instrument angulation or tooth contour. With normal use of a curette or scaler, instead of finding significant rounding at the cutting edge itself, it is usually a progressive loss of clearance through abrasion that dulls a scaling instrument in use. There is no need to resharpen the cutting edge itself. One needs only to restore proper clearance on the lateral side of the cutting blade.
Minor deficiencies in clearance are corrected with the honing channels of either the BioEdge white or chocolate stones. Major deficiencies in clearance can now be easily corrected during clinical use by using the new white and chocolate cutting edge technology honing channel clearance sharpening stones. Now, please watch the section on the proper use of the cutting edge technology honing channel accessory clearance sharpening stones. Major deficiencies in clearance can now be easily corrected during clinical use by using the new white and chocolate cutting edge technology honing channel accessory clearance sharpening stones. Begin the sharpening process by lubricating the channels of the clearance stones with sterile gauze soaked in water. Flat surfaces of stones can be used wet or dry. Hold the white honing channel clearance sharpening stone firmly on a hard surface such as a countertop. Unlike with flat sharpening stones, there is no need to lift the stone or dental scaler or dental curette to shape and resharpen and risk injury to yourself. In addition, there is less chance of personal injury as the cutting edge is sharpened in the channel below the surface of the stone. For those few instruments that do not fit the narrow channel, use the wider channel. The wider channel was designed to accommodate all wider scalers and wider curettes. Seat the working end of the instrument at the far end of the channel with the toe pointing away from you. The side of the curette blade must rest parallel to the channel wall. Keeping the face of the curette blade at even keel and without pitch, horizontal and level, will assure that the channel wall will recreate the proper clearance angle as shown in the diagram as the y-axis. Draw the cutting edge of the instrument so that the entire length of the cutting edge is in contact with the channel wall in the direction of the instrument's heel, maintaining firm, steady contact pressure with the adjacent channel wall. If needed, one can use the more abrasive chocolate honing channel clearance sharpening stone, which was designed to accelerate the sharpening process and is especially effective in quickly sharpening improperly manufactured or damaged instruments. The more abrasive chocolate honing channel sharpening stone has an average abrasive particle size of 10 to 15 microns, similar to an Arkansas stone, and will quickly sharpen any curette or sickle scaler in one to three strokes, even worn and damaged instruments. With the white and chocolate clearance stones, no tipping of the blade is needed in either the wide or narrow channels, unlike with the bioed sharpening stones as described earlier. A new advantage of the new clearance stones is that both cutting edges on the blades of a universal curette or scaler can now be sharpened at the same time, pulling through the channels as shown. Most dental manufacturers of dental instruments and most dental hygiene schools still are teaching flat stone sharpening. Flat stone sharpening remains the standard of care for instrument sharpening with the technique creating adequate clearance by holding the flat stone at approximately 100 degrees to 110 degrees to the face of the curette or scaler as shown. In this diagram, our clearance stones follow that concept of instrument sharpening and shaping as well, but without the need to lift up a stone or curette or scaler to do so. The flat channel abrasive walls of the clearance stones are set to recreate adequate clearance at the y-axis. The conical side of the sharpening stone is designed to reshape and smooth the facial surface of the instrument from heel to toe. The face of all instruments should be smooth initially when they come from the manufacturer and occasionally when there is a need 
during the life of the instrument to correct any flaws incurred in usage. The conical portion was designed to fit the face of most curettes and sickle scalers. While keeping the face of the curette flat against the conical portion of the stone, move the curette sideways approximately 2 to 4 millimeters to reduce the chance of placing bevels on the facial surface. To recap, seat the working end of the instrument at the far end of the channel with the toe pointing away from you. The side of the curette blade must rest parallel to the channel walls. With the bioed sharpening stones, slightly rotate the instruments so that the entire length of the cutting edge is in contact with the channel wall similar to when one activates the cutting edge against the root of a tooth. With the accessory clearance sharpening stones, remember to just keep the face of the curette at even keel and without pitch, horizontal and level. With either the bioedge or the accessory clearance sharpening stones, use firm steady contact pressure with the adjacent channel wall, drawing the instrument and its entire cutting edge in the direction of the instrument's heel. And also, Please check for adequacy of clearance. Because of the impervious nature of the stones, the fine metal filings produced by the sharpening process stay on the surface of the stones and do not interfere with the sharpening or honing process. These can be easily removed by scrubbing with sterile gauze soaked in water or you can use any water soluble household cleaner such as a scouring powder and a nylon dish pad, nylon brush, or a washcloth. To clean the channels, use firm pressure to sandwich a thin piece of cloth or gauze between the channel kneading, cleaning, and a dental curette or scaler. Draw the instrument's cutting edge with wet cloth or gauze through the stone channel. Repeat as needed during the sharpening process. The sharpening stones are fully autoclavable and the acrylic test sticks are cold sterilizable. With our new patented revolutionary concepts of instrument sharpening, your instruments can be sharpened tested for sharpness before, during, or after the clinical appointment, whether on a natural root of a tooth, in therapy, or using the provided sharpening test sticks. Sharp, refined, functional cutting edges can be available during both surgical and non-surgical procedures, chair side with the patient with these autoclavable honing channel sharpening stones for optimal periodontal and dental patient care. Your patients deserve it, and so do you. We, the staff at Cutting Edge Technology, invite you to try our new concepts in instrument sharpening. If you experience any problems or have any difficulties or have a question regarding the use of our CET products, please call us at our toll-free number, and thank you. <music>